and welcome to the second instalment of the Media Week Awards 2020. I'm Gemma Kearney and it's a pleasure to be here with you virtually. Now to get things started, it's campaign's Omar Oaks. Hello and welcome to day two of the virtual awards ceremony for the 2020 Media Week Awards. I'm Omar Oaks, Media and Tech Editor at Campaign. Before we get going, I just wanted to flag four special categories that we're running this year to recognise the important work done for the coronavirus pandemic, the reason that we're, of course, we're doing all of this virtually. Um, these award categories are best use of media for an ethical or good cause, best use of media to drive business outcomes, media innovation COVID-19, and media collaboration COVID-19. Um, you should know that 50% of the proceeds from these categories are being donated to support a cause that's related to the pandemic. Um, and in total, we've raised over 11,000 pounds of donations. Uh, this is gonna be combined with funds we've also raised from our other awards, which are the PR Week Awards and the Campaign Big Awards. And we think we've raised a combined total of 38,000 pounds now for that. Um, again, best of luck if you've been shortlisted today and please do enjoy day two of our virtual ceremony. Now, just before the first of today's awards, a word from the co-chairs of the judging panel, Matt Adams and Kate Waters. You're gonna see a virtual judging ceremony where they're gonna be so incredible work and some great winners. This year has been a year of two unequal halves, but we're looking for impact as judges across the course of that year and assessing work that's been done in a pre and a post COVID environment to make sure it's had the effect on the brands and the consumers and the clients that they set out to do at the beginning of the brief. One of the things that I've really enjoyed looking for is the creativity of people's response to the year. Not just in terms of the work that they've done, but also in terms of how they've responded to the crisis, how they've built client relationships, and of course, innovation more broadly across all of their products. Um, and in addition to that, I think what's been incredibly important to see this year is the, the number of agencies and clients and briefs that have come in, which have really enabled us to choose worthy winners, uh, agencies and organisations that we can put on a pedestal and be incredibly proud of as an industry. Yesterday, we celebrated 16 amazing campaigns. So congratulations once again to all those winners. And that means there's 16 more to come today. But first, a quick word about our charity partner, Skylarks, and the amazing work it does for children with disabilities and additional needs, as well as their whole families. Skylarks is not just about removing the isolation that children with disabilities and their families can feel, it's also about helping the children and young people and their families to thrive. Please do consider giving a donation today and helping Skylarks to continue the fantastic work that it does. You can find out more about Skylarks on the Media Week Awards website. And so, as we're about to delve into the second part of this year's Media Week Awards, it's a huge thanks again to our sponsors, Clear Channel, Mail Metro Media, Radio Centre, Reach Solutions and Roku. And don't forget to spread the word of today's proceedings using the hashtag Media Week Awards. And so we kick off the second half of this year's awards with four media owner Media Idea Awards, starting with the Launch Award. And with our first shortlist, the voice of Gina Malott. Thank you, Gemma. And on today's first shortlist, three finalists. Amazon Advertising and Cadbury Cream Egg. Entertainment campaign with Amazon Advertising for Mondelay. Channel 4 and hashtag clap for our carers for 40 different brands and 20 different agencies. And Vintage, Penguin Random House for publication of the Testaments by Margaret Atwood. And from those winning gold, it's Channel 4 and hashtag clap for our carers. This award celebrates the story of how Channel 4 helped launch the original hashtag clap for our carers in an incredible timescale. Under lockdown conditions in the midst of a global pandemic, uniting the nation as we came together to applaud our NHS. Well done to everyone involved. What a touching campaign. A Media Week Gold Award to Channel 4 and hashtag clap for our carers. Next, the Media Owner Award for Media Ideas with budgets under £250,000 and these finalists. Channel 4 and Disability Works for Harry Spectres, Ignition Brewery, Beko, funded by NatWest, Nationwide and Sainsbury's. Disney and Girls Who Change the World for IBM. Then two from ITV, 
The Next Level for Sony Pictures Entertainment and Age UK and Coronation Street Tackling Loneliness for Age UK. Then Spotify and the Seven Worlds One Planet Experience for BBC and Havas. Twitter UK and hashtag Hidden Abuse. Discovering the hidden truth about domestic abuse on Twitter for Solace Women's Aid and Stack. And finally, Verizon Media and Closing the Dream Gap for Barbie. And from those, there's a bronze for ITV and Age UK and Coronation Street tackling loneliness. And taking silver, it's Disney. But the gold award goes to ITV for the next level. This winning media idea promoted a film sequel about an adventure in a magical jungle and which beat the first film's opening weekend by 40%, delivering £1.5 million of the opening week's £9.5 million revenues. Gold winner ITV and the next level. So next, it's media ideas with a budget between £250,000 and £1 million and Gina has the contenders. Starting with Bauer Media and Heats Under the Duvet with Voxy for Voxy. Then two by Channel 4, Save Well, Spend Better with Lloyds Bank for Mediacom and Lloyds Bank. And Starbucks, hashtag what's your name for Starbucks and Havas. Then ITV and the People's Ad Break for Honda, Aldi, Haribo, Walkers and Weetabix. Mail Metro Media and Ahead of the Headlines for Tesco and Mediacom. News UK and Kia Power to Surprise for Kia, Havas and Innocene. The Guardian Labs and Hashtag Where You Shop Matters for Visa. And finally, Twitch with Formula E Unlocked for Porsche. And from those, there's a bronze award for Channel 4 and Starbucks. Hashtag What's Your Name? And taking silver, it's Bauer Media. But it's a Media Week Gold for... News UK for Kia Power to Surprise. The brief here was to help more people fall in love with the Kia brand, making it an important part of life's journeys. So three artists were commissioned to create extraordinary installations, while two short films focused on key journeys in life. An astonishing 94% took action after seeing the campaign. Winning Media Week Gold, News UK and Kia Power to Surprise. Next, it's Media Ideas with a budget of more than a million pounds and two go head to head for the trophy. Contenders are Channel 4 and Cause Light Rap Battle, That's Cold, for Zenith and Molson Cause. And ITV for I Saw It First and Love Island, for I Saw It First. And here one takes silver and the other gold, so I'll reveal the gold winner first. The gold goes to Channel 4 and Cause Light Rap Battle, That's Cold. Using rap, humour and interactivity to harness the coldest comedic burns resulted in an additional 1.1 million potential consumers for Cause Light. Achieving massive 7.2% sales growth through this innovative partnership with Channel 4 Comedy. Wow, that's fantastic news. Um, it's been a great campaign to work on. A massive thank you to Zenith, and an even bigger thank you to the cause. And of course, a thank you to the guys at Channel 4. Yay! Have a great night all. Congratulations to Channel 4 and Cause Light. And of course, not forgetting the silver winner here, ITV. We come now to the first of four awards which relate to the nation's response to COVID-19. Now proceeds from entries from Media Week and Tua Paymarket Media Group's other leading awards, Campaign Big and PR Week, have donated nearly £40,000 towards NHS Together, a charity to support NHS staff and volunteers caring for COVID-19 patients. And the first award is the best use of media for an ethical or good cause, with these impressive finalists. Starting with Channel 4 and hashtag Clap for Our Carers for 40 different brands and 20 different agencies. 
craft media and good stuff, for which a foundation of support. Essence with ITV and Saatchi and & Saatchi and helping everyone stay connected in a crisis for BT. ITV for Britain Get Talking 2020. Ocean Outdoor and Piccadilly Lights, the nation's notice board for land sex Piccadilly Lights. Republic of Media and Code Red for the Scottish Government. Talon Outdoor, Plexus, Grand Visual and over 70 media owners and partners around the world for hashtag sending love for the World Out of Home organization. And Zenith and Carling and Calm saves lives in lockdown for Carling. From those, it's bronze for Zenith. And a silver award goes to Channel 4. But taking the gold trophy, it's... ITV and Britain Get Talking 2020. With a fast turnaround response to the surge in lockdown loneliness, ITV's mental health initiative, Britain Get Talking, persuaded over six million people to reach out to family and friends. Media Week Gold to ITV and Britain Get Talking 2020. Next, it's best use of media to drive business outcomes, and these are the finalists. Cara UK and living your values to do business differently for co-op. Then two by Manning Gottlieb OMD, response to COVID-19 for HM Government. And stay safe, stay home, stay connected for Virgin Media. Then Mediacom UK and some little helps for safer shopping for Tesco. Two from PhD, making time for family for McCain and bringing entertainment home for Warner Brothers. Then The Guardian Labs and The Story Lab and Cara UK with Keep Connected for Vodafone. And finally, The Specialist Works and Faint Heart Never Won Fair Lady helping the nation find love in lockdown for eHarmony. There's bronze, for Mediacom UK. And taking silver, PhD with making time for family. But the gold for the best use of media to drive business outcomes is... PhD for bringing entertainment home. As the UK went into lockdown, cinemas closed. But with an uptick in the consumption of subscription view on demand platforms, Warner Brothers had to find new ways of guiding the UK's film fans to its own content, maximise a unique opportunity and fill a revenue gap from the loss of cinemas. Gold for best use of media to drive business to PhD and bringing entertainment home. Next is the award for media innovation with related work during COVID-19. So who will be taking the trophy here? Well, the contenders are British Red Cross for using TikTok during COVID-19, ITV and the People's Ad Break for Honda, Aldi, Haribo, Walkers and Weetabix, Manning Gottlieb OMD for HM Government's response to COVID-19, PhD and bringing entertainment home for Warner Brothers, Spotify with Visium, The Story Lab and Send Me a Sample for Ask for Nas. And Time Out for Time Out Pivots to Time In. And from those, the judges award bronze to Time Out. And their silver goes to British Red Cross. But taking gold, it's ITV for the People's Ad Break. The winner introduced the nation to Charlie and Rosie, a young couple from London and Adlan's accidental lockdown legends of advertising, and showed how a national challenge brought the great British public's ingenuity and innovation to our screens, with homemade TV ads more engaging than the originals. Gold winner for media innovation, COVID-19, ITV and the People's Ad Break. Next, it's Media Collaboration COVID-19 Award, 
where the title and trophy go to one of these finalists. BBC Studios for Doctor Who, staying in the TARDIS. Channel 4 and hashtag clap for our carers for 40 different brands and 20 different agencies. Do.com and no fewer than 14 leading media owners and hashtag my heroes for the people of the UK and Ireland. ITV and Essence with Saatchi and Saatchi for BT helping everyone stay connected in a crisis. OMD UK and Spotify with Frontline Spotify for Dogs for Bowringer Ingelheim. Reach, Cara and the Story Lab with In Loving Memory for Co-op Funeral Care. And Team Nation, Newspaper Industry and OmniGov with All In All Together for the UK Government. And winning bronze here, Channel 4. And it's silver for Team Nation, Newspaper Industry and OmniGov. But taking the trophy, it's hashtag MyHeroes and Do.com. Hashtag MyHeroes' core purpose was highlighting the selfless people in our lives who, until the pandemic hit, were perhaps taken for granted. The response to this collaborative concept was overwhelming, turning an advertising channel into a social channel for good. I'm here to accept the award on behalf of key workers across the United Kingdom and Ireland. Uh, for the My Heroes campaign. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all the partners uh, who worked in this brilliant media activation, having us get through the first stage of the COVID-19 pandemic, feeling supported and giving us uh, a positive mindset. So thanks again and cheers. Media collaboration COVID-19 gold winner, hashtag My Heroes and Do.com. Next, the award for the best use of audio. It's sponsored by Radio Centre and here's Lucy Barrett. So Radio Centre's really honoured to be sponsoring the best use of audio. Anyone who knows any of the team at Radio Centre will know how passionate we are at proving how radio and audio can work for brands and the effect it can have on the bottom line. But before I go into one about all things radio and audio, let's have a look at this year's shortlist. So, vying for the Media Week trophy for best use of audio. Global, Spark Foundry and SPP Media for Versus Arthritis. ITV and Sounds of Love Island for Spotify and Universal Music. ITV and Uncommon Creative Studio with the silent ad break for Dunelm, Sayat, Network Rail, Gillette and Oral B. Spotify and OmniGov at Manning Gottlieb OMD with Modern Slavery for the Government Home and Cabinet Office. The Guardian Labs and Starcom with hashtag Where You Shop Matters for Visa. And Verizon Media for Galaxy Chocolate, Sorry Not Sorry. And from those, there's Bronze for ITV and Uncommon Creative Studio and the silver goes to The Guardian Labs and Starcom. But who's taking gold? Here's Radio Centre's Lucy Barrett. Global, Spark Foundry and SPP Media and Versus Arthritis, congratulations. Arthritis affects 10 million people in the UK. So to jolt audiences into taking notice, this winner took stories from people with arthritis and then removed parts of their story away, leaving just silence, demonstrating the way in which arthritis can rob you of the life story you're writing. It's truly fantastic to receive this award for the best use of audio for our partnership with Global Radio. The goal was to use the voice of people with arthritis to challenge the dismissal of the condition and to create awareness of its impact. And through Global's understanding of our audience, we achieved something remarkable. Thank you to Global, Spark Foundry, SPP Media and MNC Saatchi who made this possible. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Winning gold for the best use of audio. Global, Spark Foundry and SPP Media for Versus Arthritis. And thanks to Radio Centre. Two awards for collaborations now. And the first for small collaboration with a budget under 250k. And Gina has the finalist. Starting with Channel 4, NatWest, Nationwide and Sainsbury's with Disability Works for Beko, Harry Spectres and Ignition Brewery. 
Channel 4, PhD and The Garden. For the British Heart Foundation, 24 hours in A&E Heart Special. Disney and Girls Who Change the World for IBM. JC Deco, Posterscope and Clear Channel for the Moments of Truth. OMD UK, Queer Britain, Guardian and Gal Dem for Levi's Pride. Twitter UK with BBH, ITB and mc and for hashtag safety in a number. Refuge and Twitter join forces to help save the lives of domestic abuse victims. And Zenith and Calm for Carling and Calm save lives in lockdown. From those, it's bronze for Zenith and Calm. Then silver to Channel 4, PhD and The Garden. Winning gold for small collaboration. It's Channel 4, NatWest, Nationwide and Sainsbury's for Disability Works. <laughs> Channel 4, NatWest, Sainsbury's and Nationwide came together to donate airtime to small enterprises that predominantly hire disabled employees. The ad break takeover went out on International Day of Persons with Disability just before Christmas, resulting in astounding business results. Hi everyone, thank you so much for the awards uh, and thank you to all parties involved in making it happen. We are so proud to celebrate Purple Light Up this way, so thank you so much. Winning Media Week Gold, Channel 4, NatWest, Nationwide and Sainsbury's for Disability Work. Next, it's large collaborations where budgets exceed £250,000 with these strong contenders. Channel 4, ITV, Sky and Mediacom. For the TV family delivers a festive first for Tesco. Channel 4, Mediacom, John Lewis, Duracell, Marks & Spencer, Moonpig and Smith's Toys. For Save the Children's Christmas Jumper Day. Essence, DCM Studios and Recipe with flexible BT TV launch, cinema activation for BT. Good Stuff and Uncommon Creative Studio for ITV Britain Get Talking. Then ISBA with 15 prestigious advertisers, AOP and 12 premium publishers, 8 media agencies and 10 ad tech vendors. For the ISBA, AOP, PWC, Programmatic Supply Chain Transparency Study. Manning, Gottlieb, OMD and Wavemaker with Every Mind Matters for HM Government. Mediacom and Film on 4 for Direct Line. And Sky Media, Mediacom, McCann and Diagonal View for Retail Revival brought to you by eBay. There's a bronze award for Channel 4, Mediacom, John Lewis, Duracell, Marks & Spencer, Moonpig and Smith's Toys. Then it's silver for Good Stuff and Uncommon Creative Studio. But taking the gold award... Channel 4, ITV, Sky and Mediacom for the TV family delivers a festive first for Tesco. To win the hearts and minds of shoppers at Christmas, Tesco partnered with Sky, ITV and Channel 4, creating an industry-first One TV content partnership, reaching an impressive 21 million shoppers and generating £16.8 billion in sales, making it Tesco's most successful Christmas ever. Gold winner for large collaboration, Channel 4, ITV, Sky and Mediacom for the TV family delivers a festive first for Tesco. Next, it's Best Media Innovation and this shortlist of contenders for the title. And they are Hearts and Science with Talon and how TikTok turned the red carpet at the Brits into the main event for TikTok. Then two for ITV, the people's ad break for Honda, Aldi, Haribo, Walkers and Weetabix and Sounds of Love Island for Spotify and Universal Music. Then OMD UK for their Barclay Card Travel Smart EasyJet partnership for Barclay Card and EasyJet. Reach Solutions for Mantis using AI to unlock an industry challenge. And Twitch with Formula E unlocked for Porsche. 
and this time there's bronze for Reach Solutions. The silver goes to ITV for the people's ad break. But to taking Media Week gold, it's Twitch for Formula E Unlocked. Porsche was launching a new electric vehicle and needed something different to reach a brand new, hard to engage audience. So reached out to Twitch as a natural partner in this space and let them run wild with ideas, turning the car launch into a never done before, custom, live, interactive game play ad. Media Innovation Gold winner, Twitch and Formula E Unlocked. It's now time to reveal Media Week's Media Brand of the Year and the title goes to one of these finalists. Culture Trip Male Metro Media The Ozone Project Spotify UK and Ireland or Twitter UK All strong contenders there, but I can now reveal that Media Week's Media Brand of the Year is The Ozone Project An unprecedented collaboration between the UK's biggest publishers, the Ozone Project has built a digital advertising environment to meet the needs of the modern marketer, providing compliant and brand-safe digital solutions for advertisers, while building a more sustainable future for premium publishers through improved online experiences. 2020 Media Brand of the Year, the Ozone Project. Time now to put media owners in the spotlight as we reveal this year's rising star. And two strong contenders go head to head for the title. From Mail Metro Media, Senior Partnership Strategist, Natasha Aquisto. And from Jungle Creations, Strategic Business Director, Jordan Harvey. And here we have a judge's high commendation and of course their winner. So I'll reveal the winner first. This year, media owner, rising star is Jordan Harvey. Here's what the judges had to say about Jordan. We got a real sense of you from your entry. Uh, we were impressed for our and really loved how proactive you were and the fact that you carried this proactivity and this real go get em attitude for every single stage of your career to date. And we really can't wait to see how that progresses and what's to come for you in the future. We were super impressed with how you've taken control of your career to date, from your internship at Cara to moving to Talk Sport, and now your success is developing the unique commercial model at Jungle. Jordan just represents role modeling so, so passionately. On um, levels of sheer proactivity, results, um, and bold determination to make a difference. John's already made a massive difference in her leadership role at Jungle and I really can't wait to see what she does in the future. If I've won, I'm definitely dancing around my living room with a gin as we speak. Um, but thank you so much to Media Week and to Jungle Creations for putting me forward in the first place. I'm absolutely buzzing. Hope everyone has a really good night dancing around their living rooms and well done to everyone for the awards. 2020's media owner, rising star, Jungle Creations, Jordan Harvey. And of course, congratulations also go to Natasha Aquisto on her high commendation in the Media Owner Rising Star category. Now, our penultimate award goes to the Media Week Sales Team of the Year. And those contenders are Channel 4, ITV, Mail Metro Media, Reach Solutions, Spotify, and Twitter UK. Now, before we reveal the winner, Here's Media Week Awards co-chair, Matt Adams. Sales Team of the Year, one of the most coveted prizes for the commercial media industry in the UK. The winner this year was a team that was exemplary in their diversity at all levels of the business. A team that made a commitment to change and drove that change for their organisation, creating an environment that I would be happy to work in any day. The judges absolutely loved and I think an environment that this winning team could be incredibly proud about. The winner of the sales team of the year was a sales team that demonstrated absolute excellence in selling and creating long-term partnerships. This is a team that showed more sense 
of team than anyone else. Showing togetherness, a sense of pride and authenticity, and a team that genuinely was the brand. And I can now reveal that the 2020 Media Week Sales Team of the Year is Spotify. Yeah. Spotify has played a key role in accelerating the trend of moving media sales from a linear to on-demand model. By educating the marketplace about streaming intelligence, Spotify has disrupted the way brands think about audio advertising and convinced brands and agencies alike that they should be their partner of choice. Media Week's 2020 Sales Team of the Year, Spotify. And so to our final award, Media Week's 2020 Grand Prix is sponsored by Clear Channel and goes to the most awarded campaign. So here's Clear Channel's Mark Smith to reveal who takes this year's top award. Clear Channel is honoured to be sponsoring this year's Grand Prix. At Clear Channel, we create the future of media. We love nothing more than being a platform for brands and a platform for good. In these trying times, it's reassuring to see that brilliant work for both continues to be recognised. From all of this year's contenders, only one can win. Taking the 2020 Media Week Grand Prix, it's... Good Stuff, an ITV for Britain Get Talking. Congratulations to Media Week 2020 Grand Prix winner, Good Stuff, an ITV for Britain Get Talking. Well, that's it for the 2020 Media Week Awards. Huge congratulations to all the finalists, the deserving winners, and thanks to our sponsors, Clear Channel, Mail Metro Media, Radio Centre, Reach Solutions, and Roku. You can find out more about all of this year's winners at campaignlive.co.uk. Finally, we look forward to seeing you and your teams next year for the Media Week Awards 2021. Thank you for joining us.